Hi, I'm Dan Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology, and today I'm going to be answering the question, what is a partial nephrectomy? If you're asking this question, you or someone else you know probably has been recently diagnosed with a mass of the kidney. Statistically speaking, this was probably found incidentally or on an imaging test done for some other reason, maybe a kidney stone, maybe abdominal pain, something else where you were not expecting to find this mass. It's likely that you were recommended to undergo a procedure to take care of this mass by a urologist known as a partial nephrectomy. So let's break down the word. Partial, not complete, and nephrectomy, the first part, nephris, or the kidney system, and ectomy removal. So partial nephrectomy is removing a piece of of your kidney and saving the rest of it. First question I often get asked is why not just remove the whole thing? Historically speaking, that's how we treated all kidney cancers that we found for people that had two kidneys is we'd remove the entire kidney. Before CT scans were prevalent, most of these masses were found very late. So at that time, the masses were very large and they were causing symptoms. At that point, we had to remove the entire kidney in order to treat the tumor. With the advent of more advanced imaging, the vast majority of these masses are now found incidentally or not because of any symptoms whatsoever. So these are being found smaller and smaller. And what we found with multiple different studies was removing a piece of the kidney around the tumor itself saved a lot more kidney function, obviously, but other findings that we found from doing partial nephrectomies are patients have other beneficial outcomes as well. They're less likely to go on dialysis at a later date. One of the surprising things that they found was that people had improved cardiovascular outcomes, less risk of heart attacks, something that we wouldn't have thought of before doing the study. Next question is, what are some factors that make a partial nephrectomy possible versus removing the entire kidney? Well, certain factors are important, one of which is size. If the mass is very, very large, it's unlikely to be curable by removing the mass itself, or there may not be enough remaining kidney function left to just remove the mass, and in that case, remove the entire kidney. If the mass is invading surrounding structures or invading the renal vein, generally a partial nephrectomy is not a viable option. If the mass is smaller, generally a partial nephrectomy is easier to perform. Other factors into consideration are the location of the tumor. The important structures to the kidney are in the middle of the kidney and are medial or closer to your midline. If the tumor is close to these structures, such as the ureter, the renal vein or renal artery, sometimes removing the tumor may damage these and it may not be possible to remove just a piece of the kidney and the entire kidney may need to be removed. There are other complicated factors that weigh into this, including history of prior surgeries, um, complicated anatomy, and other factors that you may wanna discuss with your urologist. There are certain people or in certain categories that may benefit more than others from a partial nephrectomy versus a complete nephrectomy. Patients that specifically benefit very well from removing only a piece of the kidney are patients with prior kidney dysfunction. The more nephrons or more kidney function we remove, the more likely they are to go on dialysis. So we try to do a partial nephrectomy in, if possible. Patients with a solitary kidney, same reason, if they have one kidney and we remove it, they go instantly on dialysis. So we try to do as much as we can to save any kidney function one other factor may be kidney stones, although may seem unrelated. If we remove one entire kidney, patients that have frequent kidney stones, every time they have another stone, it's a serious event. Prior, when you had two kidneys, blocking one kidney was fine. The other kidney would still make urine. Blocking one kidney with a kidney stone and only having one kidney, that kidney stops making urine and turns something that was previously um, a non-emergent situation, a much more emergent problem. So how is a partial nephrectomy performed? This procedure is performed at the hospital and generally under a general anesthetic. It can be done in an open fashion with one large incision or minimally invasively with several smaller incisions and the use of special instruments to remove a piece of the kidney. Generally, once you're put to sleep, you're placed on your side and the structures surrounding the kidney are gently pushed away. 
Next, all the important structures on the kidney are identified. The ureter, the renal artery or arteries, and renal vein or veins. These, are all, all these structures are all carefully dissected out to avoid injury and also to help with the rest of the procedure. Next, the mass is identified, sometimes with the use of ultrasound to ensure it's the appropriate part of the kidney to remove. And generally during excision of the mass, a clamp is placed on the artery or the vessels of the kidney to prevent bleeding. In some situations, which we'll describe in a later video, this procedure is performed off clamp to reduce the time of ischemia or time without blood flow to the kidney. Once the mass is excised, the hole in the kidney is then repaired. After the surgery, if it's performed in a minimally invasive fashion, you can expect to stay in the hospital generally one night and in some cases two nights. After an open procedure, it's generally several days stay in the hospital. Following either procedure, generally a period of six weeks of no heavy lifting is the main requirement. Most patients are back to their normal activities within days after surgery. Again, I'm Dan Reznicek from Pacific Northwest Urology. Thanks for watching our video on partial nephrectomy today. In the upcoming week or two, I'm going to have other videos on off-clamp partial nephrectomies and comparing um, how difficult a partial nephrectomy is depending on what location and the size of the tumors. Stay tuned.